Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. And this is the Lord we God's life. Okay, short one tonight because it's late and honestly, Luther's better than I could ever comment on it. So here it is on the Lord's Supper. Luther writes, In conclusion, since we have now the true understanding and doctrine of the sacrament, there is indeed need of some admonition and exhortation that men may not let so great a treasure which is daily administered and distributed among Christians pass unheeded. That is, that those who would be Christians may make ready to receive this venerable sacrament often. For we see that men seem weary and lazy with respect to it. And there's a great multitude of such as hear the gospel, and because the nonsense of the Pope has been abolished, that we are freed from his laws and coercion, go one, two, three years or longer without the sacrament, as though they were such strong Christians that they have no need of it. And some allow themselves to be prevented and deterred by the pretense that we have to we have taught that no one should approach it except those who feel hunger and thirst, which urge them to it. Some pretend that it is a matter of liberty and not necessary, and that it is sufficient to believe without it. And thus, for the most part, they go so far that they become quite brutish and finally despise both the sacrament and the word of God. So here's the thing. Most of the time, when people say, how often do I have to take communion? What they really mean is, how little do I have to take communion? I don't know, that kind of says something. Like, what else in your life that you love do you say, what's the bare minimum I actually need to do for it? What's the bare minimum I need to see my wife and tell her I love her? What's the bare minimum of calories I need to eat in a day? Like, honestly, are you eating the bare minimum of calories? So here's the thing. If you want to measure this just based on your hunger for it, recognize that the farther you're away from it, yeah, the less you're going to want it. But that happens in the world too. I mean, if, if... You go outside in a nice Nebraska winter and all of a sudden you stop feeling so cold. Doesn't mean you're warm. It means you're dying. That's not great. There is no mandate as far as how often or even how little you have to take the Lord's Supper. Instead, Luther would turn us to something simpler. Is it what he says it is? Does it do what he says it does? And do we need it? That's plenty of reason. Go willingly, joyfully, because your God wants to forgive you your sins. Good night.